the Tigal La Combatant class were the first missile boats of the many navies. Besides, these fast attack crafts were among the few vessels that fought in real naval battles in the last 50 years. Today, we're investigating the Tiga and La Combatant II classes, the early symbols of the transformation from torpedoes to missiles. The Tiga La Combatant II class introduced missile technology to many navies. Four countries ordered them and an additional three acquired the second-hand boats. The story of this fast attack craft goes back to the early 1960s. At that time, the German Federal Navy began to seek a successor to its torpedo boats. The new vessel would incorporate the anti-ship missiles and be based on the Lewison TNC-42 design, also known as the Yagua class. The plan progressed slowly since the Western naval staff were generally skeptical about replacing torpedoes and guns with the newly developed anti-ship missiles. Still. Israel was also interested in the new German fast attack craft. Yet, due to the Weapons of War Control Act, West Germany could not sell it to this country, which was frequently fighting with its Arab neighbors. The problem was solved by the decision to build the Lewisons design in France. The Israeli boats, called Saar class, would have the Gavriel missiles. In 1967, the sinking of the destroyer INS Eilat of the Israeli Navy with the six missiles fired from the Komar class boats of the Egyptian Navy changed the Western naval staff's perspective. So, the German Federal Navy was now keen to have the missile boats and began to work on the Type 143 class. In the search for quickly available alternatives, France offered a modified version of the Saar class, which was already a German design to West Germany. Unlike its Israeli counterparts, the German vessel would carry heavier Exocet missiles with an extended range, so it would be longer and heavier than the Saar class. West Germany ordered the new boat called the Type 148 or Tiga class in 1970. Like the Saar class, they would be built at Siemens shipyard in Cherbourg, France. These vessels had a steel hull and an aluminum superstructure. The first boat of the class, S41, which would be named Tiga later, was laid down on October 11, 1971, launched on September 27, 1972, and commissioned on October 30, 1972. At first, the Tiga class vessels did not receive names, only numbers, but these were introduced later at the insistence of the crew. The German Federal Navy received 20 boats, 12 of which were built in France and the rest in Germany. The CMN had also offered the boat for export under the name of the La Combatant II class. Greece had become the first customer before Germany in 1969. Besides, by the sale agreement, the fast attack crafts of the Hellenic Navy had been the platform for the first Exocet order. The name La Combatant II came from the French patrol vessel La Combatant with the P730 pennant number used as the launch vehicle for trials of the Exocet missile. Later, CMN also defined the Amil Maridima class boat built for the Kuwait Naval Force as the La Combatant 1 class. The German Navy decommissioned its Tiga class boat between 1992 and 2002. Chile and Greece acquired six second-hand boats each, while Egypt bought five. Egypt, Greece, Iran, Libya and Malaysia are the current users of the fast attack craft. Chile, Georgia and Germany decommissioned them. The complement of the Tiga class is 30 people. The boat has a length of 47 meters, a beam of 7 meters and a draught of 2.7 meters. Its standard displacement is 234 tons, while its fully loaded displacement is 265 tons. Four 3000 horsepower MTU MD 16V 538TB90 diesel engines provide a maximum speed of 36 knots. Tiga class has a range of 2,963 kilometers, in other words, 1,600 nautical miles. La Combatant II class missile boats of the Hellenic Navy were defined as the Aninos class. They had the same propulsion systems as the German vessels. They had a complement of 40 people, a beam of 7.1 meters, a fully loaded displacement of 255 tons, and a top speed of 36.5 knots. 
the Aninos class could reach a range of 1,575 kilometers, in other words, 850 nautical miles at a speed of 25 knots. They were decommissioned between 2002 and 2004. Even though Greece had initially planned to donate HS Aninos to Cyprus, it never materialized. HS Batsis was transferred to the Georgian Navy and renamed as Dios Korea. Greece also acquired six former German Tika class boats between 1993 and 2000. Three vessels, HS Wotsis, HS Pezopoulos, and HS Marivakis, are still in service. The Hellenic Navy defines them as the Wotsis or La Combaton 2A class. In 1970, Malaysia ordered four La Combaton 2 class missile boats. They are defined as the Purdana class. These vessels were commissioned between 1972 and 1973. They have four 3,500-horsepower MTU-MB870 diesel engines, which provide a top speed of 36.5 knots. The Purdana class can reach a range of 1,480 kilometers, in other words, 800 nautical miles, at a speed of 25 knots. Even though Malaysia had planned to replace the Exoze MM38 missile with the Exoze MM40 or Automat in the early 2000s, it never materialized. The La Combaton 2G class missile boats ordered by Libya in 1977 were initially defined as the Bayer Jarasa class. This definition has been changed to Sharaba class later. Nine vessels were commissioned between 1982 and 1983. Currently, only one boat, Shafak, is operational. She has four 3,840 horsepower MTU 20V 538TB91 diesel engines which provide a top speed of 39 knots. The missile boat has a complement of 27 people, a length of 49 meters, a beam of 7.1 meters and a fully loaded displacement of 311 tons. In 1974, Iran ordered 12 La Combaton 2 class missile boats. They are defined as the Keman class. These vessels were commissioned between 1977 and 1981. They have four 3,070 horsepower MTU 16V 538TB91 diesel engines, which provide a top speed of 37.5 knots. The Keman class has a complement of 31 people, a beam of 7.1 meters, and a fully loaded displacement of 275 tons. It can reach a range of 3,700 kilometers, in other words, 2,000 nautical miles at a speed of 15 knots. Iran has also copied the La Combaton 2 class as the Sina class. The first boat was commissioned in 2003. Iran plans to have 10 Sina class vessels. Currently, five of them are in service and another three are under construction. The Chilean Navy defines its Tiga class fast attack crafts as the Rikelme class. Chile's second four-boat batch acquired from Germany was damaged during transit because of a severe storm. So the Chilean Navy had to take two vessels in the best condition into service and cannibalize two others as spare parts. The Tiga and Sharaba classes have one 76mm 62 caliber Compatto bow gun. It has a range of 16 km and a rate of fire of 85 rounds per minute. The Iranian boats are fitted with the 76mm Fajr 27 bow gun, the locally copied version of the Compatto. The Purdana class has one 57mm Bufosh SAK 57 Mark I bow gun. It has a range of 17 km and a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute. They also have six 103mm rails for rockets illuminants on the gun turret. The Aninos class was fitted with two 35mm 90 caliber twin barrel Ehrlichen GDMA guns, one on the bow and the other one on the aft. It had a rate of fire of 500 rounds per minute for each barrel and a range of 5 km. The Tiga and Perdana classes have one 40mm 70 caliber Bufosh SAK 40 L7350 aft gun. It has a range of 4 km against air targets and a rate of fire of 300 rounds per minute. The Iranian boats have an Otomalara made 40mm gun instead of the Bufosh. Some of them have been replaced with a 20mm gun. The Sharaba class has one 40mm 70 caliber twin barrel Dardo aft gun, which doubles the rate of fire. The aft gun can be replaced with mine rails. Initially, the Tiga, Aninos and Purdana classes were fitted with four Exoze MM38s. 
The anti-ship missile with a 1,655 kg warhead has a range of 42 km and a top speed of Mach 0.9. Since its shelf life has ended, it is probably no longer in use. HS Marvakis of the Hellenic Navy carries four RGM-84 Harpoon instead of the Exoze. It has a 221.6 kg warhead and a range of 124 km. The decommissioned HS Vlavakas had also been fitted with the US-made missiles. At first, the Keman class had four harpoons. They have been replaced with four to eight Noors. It is the Iranian reverse-engineered version of the Chinese C-802. The missile has a 165 kg warhead, a range of 120 km and a top speed of Mach 0.9. The Sina class is also fitted with four to eight Noors. The Keman and Sina classes can be fitted with the Sayyad 2 the Iranian reverse-engineered version of the US RIM-66 surface-to-air missile, which is also effective against surface targets. The Sharaba class has four Automat Mark IIs. It has a 210 kg warhead, a range of 80 km and a top speed of Mach 0.9. Unlike the other national variants, only the Aninos class had two 533mm tubes for the SST-4 torpedoes. La Combaton 2 class was baptized with fire in 1980. During the early stage of the Iran-Iraq war, Iraq had positioned radar and monitoring equipment on some oil rigs to counter Iranian air operations. So, Iran initiated Operation Marverit on November 27 and 28 to destroy them. Two Iranian command class first attack crafts, IRIS Pekan and IRIS Joshan, were tasked to blockade the ports of Al Fao and Umm Muqasr and shell them. So, the Iraqi Navy sent some P-6-class torpedo boats and Asa 2-class missile boats for a counterattack. IRS Pekan and IRS Joshan responded to them by firing their harpoon missiles. Two Asa 2s immediately sunk. Yet, the remaining Iraqi missile boats kept attacking IRS Pekan. The crew of the Iranian boat called air support. Yet, before the Iranian F-4s arrived to help, Two Iraqi 6 anti-ship missiles had already hit IRS Pekan and sunk her. Still, before that, IRS Pekan had also managed to shoot down an Iraqi Su-22 with her 76mm gun. Besides, Iranian sources claim that IRS Pekan's crew shot down another Iraqi MiG-23BN with manpads. Even though IRS Joshan had been saved from the Iraqi attack in this battle, her luck was turned 8 years later. On April 14, 1988, the U.S. Navy frigate USS Samuel B. Roberts struck a mine while transiting international waters. So, Washington initiated Operation Praying Mantis four days later to destroy some Iranian naval vessels and facilities. In response, IRS Joshan attacked the task force, which consisted of the cruiser USS Wainwright and the frigates USS Simpson and USS Bagley with a harpoon. After it was successfully lured away by chaff, USS Simpson and Wainwright responded by firing five standard missiles, which all hit the missile boat. This attack did not sink IRS Joshan. Still, the US ships finished her with gunfire. During Operation Prairie Fire on March 24, 1986, one USA-6 hit the Libyan Sharaba-class missile boat Wahid with a harpoon missile. Then, the second intruder sunk her with Rakai cluster bombs. Another Sharaba class vessel was also damaged. The remaining Libyan boats, except Shafak, were sunk or damaged during the 2011 military intervention in Libya. The Russian sources claim the Nanuchka class corvette Mirage sank some Georgian vessels in the open sea, including Dioscuria, during the battle off the coast of Abkhazia. But there is a video footage of this Lakomotong 2 class missile boat being destroyed by Russian ground troops in the port of Poki. The Tiga La Combaton 2 class is one of the early examples of the Western missile boat. Its success has made Germany and France one of the leading suppliers in this field. The Tiga La Combaton 2 class missile boat is undoubtedly one of the naval legends of modern naval history. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.